Well, in light of recent events that have been taking place and how crazy things are getting in this matrix, I thought that I would just come and share a word of encouragement um, to those who are dealing with um, attacks. Every single day, we're seeing where women are being attacked by men, um, men are being attacked, killed by other men, authorities are attacking unarmed civilians. People just are losing their mind and their heart. On the flip side of that, the world is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place where creation is perfect and all things are in their season. It's just that when you take your eye off of the beauty of creation, you don't have to spend a lot of time seeing that things are way chaotic on this planet. You don't even have to try to be focused on negativity or any of that because no matter what is going on, no matter how positive you are, we are all going to be affected by negative events. And as a kingdom kid, I, I've been analyzing this because it gets really challenging sometimes with the adversity that comes my way when I know that I'm being obedient, when I know that I'm doing what I'm told to do. And I expect in my naivety other kingdom kids who say they love God, who say that they believe to actually understand my walk. But that's not the case. And if you're a kingdom kid, you probably spend more time than not being misunderstood. You probably spend more time than not not receiving the help that it is that you need to get your purpose, your vision fulfilled. You probably spend more time than not frustrated with having to deal with quote-unquote, believers or people who claim to be woke who turn around and attack you. And so I guess today it really just got to a head with me when Nipsey, when I got the news about Nipsey Hussle. Because here we have a brother that totally turned his life around, took his finances, put it back into his community, and pre pre presented opportunity to people. Um, you know, had children, and was really just doing what he had to do to do the right thing. Doing what he had to do to take care of his children and his girl. And with all of that, someone came and decided to shoot him. And as a result, he transitioned. 33 years old. And I look on Facebook and other places every single day. I'm seeing brutal attacks against women from men. I just went through one myself. <laughs> and I can identify with what is going on on this planet. I'm not disconnected at all from it. But one thing that I have kept at the forefront of my mind, which gives me the strength to continue to go on when there are days when I wish that I could just put my family in a spaceship and get the hell out of here. Because there's nothing natural about these events. 
It's a supernatural situation. And again, it doesn't matter how positive you are, you are going to be affected by this. So the thing to do that I've found, which work, works for me, is that despite what other people do, I examine myself and I spend my time working overtime on myself to make sure that even if someone tries to provoke me with attacking me verbally, mentally, psychically, physically, since I'm only responsible for what I do, I don't allow them or what they do to bring me to that level. I try my best to keep my heart free from any of that. Because what they don't realize is what they're putting out towards me or towards anybody else is for sure coming back to them. And so because I'm cognizant of that and because the veil is non-existent, basically, and events are uh, manifesting rapidly, what you put out comes back rapidly, I have to watch my walk. I have to be careful and I have to be mindful that I'm not dealing with a human being when I'm dealing with this type of negative energy that's coming at me, that's attacking me. Because I know and I'm a kingdom kid and I know that God's hand is on me and I know that I have a strong purpose to fulfill. And so because I know that and I know that I'm one with God, I'm not saying that I'm above anybody, but I'm damn sure not beneath them. So I want to read this scripture uh, that I keep at the forefront of my mind. And I think that if we pay more attention to this, we may be able to navigate a little bit more uh, easier, or maybe not even easier, but wiser, maybe not even wiser, but we'll have more clarity about what it is that we're dealing with when we deal with these attacks, these unwarranted attacks that we feel, you know, are unfair or unjust against us when we're doing the right thing. Ephesians 6.12, I'm going to read the King James Version says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And in the scripture, the author, the writer of this book was trying to express to us not to get caught up in this physical, because this physical plane, there's seven planes of existence. And this physical plane is the first. So we are damn near at ground zero. And here we have physical bodies that are embodied by different types of spirits. Everybody has a purpose, and even though there's negative energies here, those negative energies push us towards being the best version of ourselves that we can be, towards our highest good. But it's challenging dealing with these negative energies, these negative beings, these negative spirits. And you could be looking at someone that you are familiar with, And you're looking at them for the personality that you know them as. But under the right circumstances, the energy that's truly connected to them is going to come out. It's going to come out. And it takes specific circumstances and situations for that energy to manifest. 
ever want to know what somebody is really about, trouble will always reveal what they really thought about you, how they really feel about you, who they really are and their perspective about this world. And even more so, it will reveal their heart. It will reveal the war that's going on inside of them and what they're dealing with internally. You just have to really pay attention. But trouble is a revealer. Adversity is a revealer. That's why the Bible says that God is a very present help in the time of trouble. Because trouble will bring out aspects of people <laughs> that you didn't even know was there. And it wasn't until that trouble came that the opportunity came or the trigger came for that to come out so that you would know who it is that you're dealing with. And we get caught up in getting familiar with people by flesh and blood and these bodies and these personalities, these ego personalities of, you know, this is such and such and this is such and such and, you know, this is my cousin, this is my brother, this is my mother, this is my father, this is my friend, this is my business partner, this is my man, this is my woman, you know, this is the police officer, this is the judge, you know, this is my landlord, you know, all of those different things. We get caught up in looking at them and getting familiar with them by the flesh. The Bible tells us that this is not about flesh and blood. We are not dealing with flesh and blood here. So behind this skin, there's energy, consciousness. Whatever that consciousness is connected to is going to come through that physical being. So when you have people that attack you, when you're doing the right thing and they choose to attack you, that lets you know the energy that you're dealing with. Because anybody that is a kingdom kid, that is for the greater good, it doesn't matter what goes on with you. If you are a kingdom kid, they're not going to attack you no matter what. They're going to support you. They're going to try to figure out a way to help you if they are truly a kingdom kid and if they are connected to God. And if you are connected to God, then they will be able to understand that helping you is helping themselves. But when they come and attack you, it's because they're dealing with a polar opposite energy. And it's not even about the circumstances that are going on. It's about the fact that you are on another agenda. You are on another wavelength in them. It says, the Bible says that we're dealing with rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. And so I would even go on to say that if you are truly doing something for the greater good, you should be expecting to be attacked. And I will even take it further and say that if you are doing something for the greater good and you are not being attacked, you need to check your objectives, check your heart, check your walk, check what you are connected to because you have to have resistance when you're in this world that is ruled by the ego, by Shatan or Satan, and you are doing something for the greater good to push us forward into remembering who we truly are if you're not being attacked and you represent quote unquote God I'm going to say that you don't represent God I'm going to say that you are not a threat to anyone's agenda I'm going to say that you're not a threat to anyone's objectives. I'm going to say that energy that is polar opposite is not intimidated or threatened by you. Being attacked 
for doing the right thing doesn't mean that you're doing the wrong thing. Being attacked for doing the right thing means that you're actually doing the right thing. <laughs> and it's the price that you have to pay when you say that you love God and when you say that you are the called according to purpose, you are supposed to be enduring some measure of hardship. And if you are not being attacked, to me, something about what you're doing is about you and it's not about the greater good. It's funny to me because every time I get to the place where I'm getting ready to open the truth center, something happens that throws me off. <laughs> and with this last thing, it tried to take my life. Literally. This last situation tried to take my life. And so what that did for me it gave me more confirmation that I need to move forward with what it is that I have to do and that I have to continue to press towards the mark of the high calling because I signed up for this. You signed up for this. So if you agree to come here and be about kingdom business and you're more concerned about your business, You haven't had the right situation yet that's going to push you forward into whether uh, into uh, doing what it is that, that you agreed to come here and do. See, we could be obedient by choice or by force. And I went through my periods where I was having to be forced forward. Not no more. I do what I'm told to do. And it's non-negotiable. period. There's a price that has to be paid for this. And if you're not willing to pay that price, then you might as well just go ahead and do you and do you to the fullest because it also talks about how God requires us to either be hot or cold. And I understand that I can respect hot or cold. It's hot. I know that you hot cold that I, I know that you cold so there's no guessing involved in where you stand hot or cold but it's that lukewarm that is disgusting and the most high says in the scripture that the lukewarm will be spit out of his mouth because the lukewarm can't decide whether to be hot or cold the lukewarm is you know, it's a little bit hot, it's a little bit cold. It's just a blend of both trying to be on both sides of the fence. You can't do that. Not, not with this. Kingdom is about kingdom. Non-kingdom is about kingdom. You can't be about kingdom and about you. It's either one or the other. The Messiah said, sell all and follow me. Meaning, whatever it is that you feel is important to you, you need to put that aside and take yourself and put your all into following me and, and, and what it is that I'm requiring of you and building the kingdom. And since the kingdom of heaven is within, it's not out here, but it's within. If you are not actively pursuing kingdom business, meaning getting yourself right in here, connecting with God within, connecting with God within. You're not about kingdom business. I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about going to church. I'm not talking about preaching all over the world. I'm not talking about working at the missionaries, working at the homeless shelters, doing what you feel is right but being about kingdom business manifesting heaven on earth connecting with God within
there is no way around it. And so I just wanted to come and share that because things are getting more and more chaotic out here. And the reality of it is people that are about the greater good are being attacked. People that are about themselves are in denial, trying to be comfortable. <laughs> and the two don't go together. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then everything else will be added to you. And so when you're doing that, you can expect attack. If you ain't willing to be attacked for the greater good, if you ain't willing to be attacked for elevating your consciousness, living on purpose, being about kingdom business, if you're not ready to pay that price, don't even try it. Because we're not dealing with people here. We're not dealing with, this is an illusion, this is a holographic reality, a virtual reality. And we are dealing with images mirrors aspects of ourselves to come and reveal what's inside of us situations are coming to reveal what's inside of us things are happening to reveal what side of the fence that we are actually on energy don't lie so connect to God within is the best advice that I could tell you and stop looking at people getting attached to these personalities, these bodies, because this is a big masquerade party. You don't know what I truly look like. I don't know what you truly look like. And I'm going to leave this reality without anybody knowing what I truly look like. I'm here concealed behind this. So the only way that you will know me is by what it is that I am about. It's the only way. The only way that I will know you is what you is about is 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 about what you are about, what you show that you are about. But it's 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 hot or cold here. Lukewarm ain't gonna cut it. So be encouraged. Don't get thrown off. Face forward. Stand on your square, be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Most High. Keep your heart under inspection, introspection, and all of that. And make sure that you recognize that it's the spirit in the thing that's revealing itself when trouble comes. So pay attention to that. Have a good night.